I would like to introduce uh, the DEPCONF 18 Taiwan team to you. Um, as you see, they are all locals, um, which is, I think, a very good sign, because I think it's always good if uh, we share kind of all the resources we have to make a bit successful, as the Taiwanese bit has been successful last year. And, um, well, they're going to introduce us now to what they have been working on and um, why we should all join their wonderful city and wonderful country uh, next year for the next iteration of DEFCON. We are inviting everyone to the next step home, which will be in Taiwan, also the first step home in Asia. The trivia about the logo is that it is the restaurant chain in Taiwan is already using our logo on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what our logo is based on. Also, thank you, Velasio Brito, for adjustments. When talking about Taiwan, I believe most of the Debian users are more or less related to this project. RxCE, a desktop environment which becomes the default for a majority of Singapore computers. And Clonezilla, the most popular disk cloning and imaging project. And we have much more OS, FOSS communities, conferences, and activities in Taiwan. We also give kudos to OCF, Open Culture Foundation, the organization who also becomes the trusted organization in Debian, which also means OCF can receive donations from Debian. Our venue is... That was a lot of work. Our venue is sponsored by NCTU, National Chaodong University, where our venue and accommodation will be at. This is the venue building looks like. Stay situated with the pool. And this is the home of the venue building, as you just see in my in my last in my little partition background. And uh, these are conference rooms. The large room on the top can have 236, while the smaller rooms like the bottom have about 106 per each. And we have a uh, we have a meeting rooms which may be useful for BOF activities. And our on-site accommodation is also provided by the CTU. We have 75 to 150 rooms and four beds per room. And it is all air conditioned and we have laundromats and wired network connections. So if you don't bring your network cable, we will be disconnected in the, in the accommodation. Okay. Um, these are most famous foods in Xinzhu. On the top is the meatball soup, and the, on the bottom is the dish of stir-fried rice noodles. And we are considering giving out every participant a pair of chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, if you want to use other dining tools, you can also BYOD. <laughs> or bring your own dining tools. The mountain is situated close to a university called the 18 Peaks Mountain or Spartan Shan. The ramps are very smooth and uh, is a common place for local people to travel. This is the Glass Museum for demonstrating glass arts and traditions. It is reachable by bus or by bicycle. And if you need something electronic, we also have a place selling computer parts and electronic parts. And it is right within the walking distance. Yay. 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 So, um, however, the weather is significantly different from Western countries. So prepare yourself, uh, your shirt and umbrellas. We also prepare for possible typhoon risk, so our schedule can be pushed forward if a typhoon causes closures. For people like outdoor events, you also need to watch out mosquitoes. <laughs> and uh, the power system is the same as in the US and Canada, so if you can power it on here, you can power it in Taiwan. <laughs> okay, so this is the 
visa policy of Taiwan, and we are also getting everyone a easier entry with governmental support. So stay tuned in that confirmation is already. <coughs> and these are limits if you want to bring things for Chase and my party. <laughs> Your treasures are shown away by Taiwanese customs. And finally, these are our dates for Death Cups 18, and these are final. Unless they say. Huh? Unless they say. Unless, uh, actually, with, with, with Typhoon, we have, uh, we have this, this date up within Typhoon, within Typhoon consideration, <laughs> so we can push forward. <laughs> so that's no problem. Uh, you can book flight tickets right now if you want a better place. <laughs> okay, these are our local team members, and uh, some of them are willing to work with, the remote, uh, work with us remotely and fix our poor English. <laughs> Finally, if you have a company that is willing to support DevCon 18, please contact us at sponsors at devcon.org. So, See you in that. See you in that cover 18. So, do anyone have questions? Yeah. Hi. It looks awesome. I'm going to answer the traditional question. Uh -huh. What's local beer like? <laughs> local beer. So I, I'll give you a question. I'll give you a question to everyone. <laughs> Uh, I need a microphone. Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have. Oh, wait. <laughs> Take this one here. Four questions asked on the other microphone. Yeah, in theory that we have a uh, local beer from industrial, but uh, I think if people don't like it, people like uh, uh, homebrew or handicapped beers. We have some local uh, microbrewery there. And we was asking that uh, if they can brew the beer for us. They say if we can provide the uh, ingredients and recipe, they can also brew the beer for us. <laughs> <laughs> but we need, uh, we need the beer experts to, to take care of this. We are, I'm not the really expert. expert. Hi, I'd just like to seek some assurance that there will not be any fitness-related um, extensions made to Lintian that will force me to visit all 18 of the peaks before I'm allowed to come down and upload my package. <laughs> <laughs> You talked about wired dorms. What about the Wi-Fi in the venue? Uh, the Wi-Fi in the venue is actually um, there is actually there is actually Wi-Fi in the venue provided by the university. But we are also considering an alternative option by setting up by the contract. A contract, maybe setting up a contract. This looks great. How conveniently located are hotels for people who want other accommodation? Okay, uh, one nearby hotel is uh, there is one nearby hotel, but I, but but the price is very expensive. Uh, the, the other options are there is one close there is one close to the unit close to the university of the nearby university, which is stick to each other. So. Um, it is, uh, we have more, you know, we have you know, more hotels in the city center, but, uh, the, but, the, but, the, um, but the drug distance is a, is a little bit far away. Follow on question to that. Um, are you aware of Airbnb hosting in the area? Airbnb? Uh, we actually, uh, I actually haven't seen, haven't seen that Airbnb information, but the, from what I understand, it's a university near a science park, 
so it's a little distance from the city. The science park has more Western trained uh, professionals who will have some restaurants a little bit, but I don't know about the hotels. How far is the next beach and how cold is the water there? <laughs> Actually, you, 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 you can take a bus to there because, uh, you, you know, Taiwan is very small and it's surrounded by the sea, so it's, it's easy to get there by a bus and there's just a port, you can add the raw fish is there. So it's, it's actually not very far. Actually, it's not, the, the, the sea is not very far from any place in Taiwan, so, so you don't worry about it. But, but just if you want to jump into the sea and swim, that's, you, you have to pick a better place. It is an industrial area, so the beaches <coughs> nearest aren't the best places for swimming. Um, given that we are in Xinchu, and in Xinchu there are a lot of hardware manufacturers that most of us have heard, can it be an opportunity to go and meet and have strategic meetings and, and stuff and get a lot of nice things uh, started? <laughs> Opportunities. And persuade them to open source their drivers. <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of our purposes of proposing at the COP18 in Taiwan. To meet the manufacturers. options are easy because we have we have uh, vegetarian restaurants which fits in right fit into vegan uh, right fits into vegan uh, restri restrictions but uh, considering about food restrictions the uh, more difficult one is actually a gluten free because there because Taiwan Taiwanese people don't eat gluten free so uh, <laughs> so uh, we maybe if we have gluten free people we have a we we need to have cooked by, cook by, by ourselves or cons or consulting a catering service for this for these requirements. The local dish of uh, rice noodles is rather than wheat noodles, but then there are concerns about the uh, sauce yeah. on the noodles. Mm. How about transportation in Shinshu? Okay, so. About transportation, so actually, from uh, it, the most difficult thing is from the airport to a venue because there is no public transport. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, I have a problem with the size. Walking. Sorry about that. <laughs> Can we hitchhike from the airport? Actually, okay. From the airport to the venue is actually possible. Uh, I mean, by taxi or Uber, if you take if you take together, it is not it is not expensive anyways. So uh, you can uh, you can also by take take multiple transportation via uh, high speed railway plus bus or taxi. It will take uh, about uh, two hundred to five to five two hundred fifty to five hundred thirty dollars or. Um, Per person, um, depending on how many people, how many people you take taxi. So we will we'll post the information about public transport in the week. Uh, recommending that people coordinate with wiki pages for traveling together. Yes. Hmm. How far, how far is the closest hot spring? <laughs> hot spring. Oh, hot spring? Hot springs? Um, 
just take a bus to Taipei and <laughs> Yeah, actually from Xinzhu to Taipei is the one of is the one hour bus. Away. Yeah, there's a direct <laughs> bus from Xinzhu to Taipei and yeah. the, the bus stop just uh, uh, in, in in front of the campus exit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just take the bus there. And in Taipei you 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 you, you have everything, including hot print or something funny. <laughs> How many people are planning to go? Yay! <laughs> How many people really want to and are not sure they can? Still very Just close your window and don't, don't awesome. mind the noise and everything. And stay, stay in the accommodation. Everything will be, everything will be fine. You said the dates were fixed, so typhoons are not allowed. <laughs> you, you, you know, actually, for our local people, we actually go in our shopping and watch movies in Taipo because we have vacations during Taipo. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not really that scary. <laughs> and also typhoon is outside is really loud, so it's good for uh, singing karaoke at home and drinking beer. <laughs> That's our typhoon day. <laughs> no more questions. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> through from a friend on IRC. Um, what's it like um, for people in wheelchairs? Oh, I don't know. Wheelchairs. Accessibility, yes. Access. Wheel wheelchairs? Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, because of the venue. Yeah, because of the venue. Actually, I invested in the wheelchair. Um, the wheelchair accessibility can be, I, I believe it can, can, be, can, be, can be okay. okay. University is excited to have the conference there. They want to make it a good thing. Right? So is this true that I've been told that the university is providing many free resources because they really want it to happen? They they want Debian developers to come to Taiwan. So I think uh, accommodations sounds like there'll be a friendly audience for questions. For free. 
absolutely free.